What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to do rounded buttons with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at rounded buttons with Kivi. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 on membership with all my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at rounded buttons. So I've got a little app here. We've got a white background, we've got a regular square button, and then a round button that's also blue. So I've got two new files. I've got round underscore buttons.py and round underscore buttons.kv. This is the basic Kivi starter code that we always have. You'll notice I've got import window, so we can come down here and change this color to white to make our background white. We've looked at that in other videos. I'm also using the latest version of Kivi 2.0 that we talked about installing last week. So that's cool. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. Now I've also, I should mention, set up last week when we installed the new Kivi, I set up a new directory called Kivi New. So we're in that directory and we're gonna be in that directory from now on because it's got the newest version of Kivi installed and I've got my virtual environment turned on. So, all right, how do we do this? Round buttons. It's actually pretty easy and it's all going to be done in our KV file. So I've got our basic KV file with a box layout. We've looked at this before and it's just orientation vertical. We've got our root width and root height and I gave, we're going to have two buttons. So I'm giving them a padding of 50 and spacing of 20 just to, you know, keep them apart a little bit. So let's just go ahead real quick and create a couple buttons. And the first one will be button and the text here will say, hello world. And I'm just going to copy this guy and paste this one. And in this one, we'll say goodbye world. And let's go ahead and save this and run it. Make sure that looks okay. So Python round underscore buttons. And you see, we have a white background. We've got our two buttons here. Hello world and goodbye world. They're both big and gray and uh, that's cool. White background. All right. So, all right, let's go ahead and tweak these a little bit. So for the second button, let's change the color a little bit. Well, first let's change the size. I want to make this smaller so it looks good rounded. Giant button wouldn't look that great rounded. Uh, so let's go uh, position underscore hint and let's give this like a center underscore X of 0.5, let's say. And then we'll give this a size hint of one and 0.3. And we've looked at these things in past videos. If you're not sure what I'm doing here, check the link to the playlist in the comment section below to check those videos out. So let's go ahead and run this, see what this looks like. Okay, so now we've got a big button and a smaller button. And let's also give this a background color. So I'm gonna go background underscore color, and I'm just gonna paste this in. This is 48 by, divided by 255 by 84 divided by 255 by 150 divided by 255 by one. And this will just give us a blue color. I've, I've looked this up already, so I know what it is. And let's go background underscore normal and give that a nothing. Like, you know, with buttons, we have to give it a background normal or else the color will be tinted gray and we don't want that. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. See how that looks. Okay, so we've got our button here and it's kind of blue. And that looks good. So now how do we make this rounded? Well, it's actually not that hard. We're gonna use Canvas for this as we do for many things. And I'm gonna come down here below here and let's just create a new sort of button. And I'm gonna call it rounded button. And we wanna inherit this from button, right? And we start out by giving this a background underscore color of let's go zero, 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 zero and also a background normal of nothing. So like I said, we're gonna use canvas. So let's go canvas dot before. And inside of here, we wanna set the color to RGBA of, and I'm just gonna copy this color from up here because this is the color I want this to be, that same color of the button. Okay, now we wanna give this a rounded rectangle. And this is a canvas thing, right? Now we need to give this a size, a position, and a radius. And the size is just gonna be self.size. And the position is just gonna be self.position, right? Now for radius, 
this is a Python list and it takes in a, a number argument. And I'm gonna say 58. And the radius here is this is the roundness of the button itself. And we can kind of play with this and see what this does. But this is how round you want your button to be. So I'm gonna give it a radius of 58. Now, one thing to notice here, we've got this color we're mentioning here. So if in your button you've already designated a color, you can't because you've designated a color right here. So we'll have to change that. So now to use this thing, we just copy this and reference it wherever we want. So we wanna change this button to a rounded button. And like I said, we've gotta get rid of the background color. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these two lines here. Go ahead and save this. Okay, so let's run this guy, python round underscore button dot pi, pull this over, and we've got our round button. So one thing to notice, if we click this, it looks like it changes. If we click this, it doesn't look like anything's happening and it is happening and I'll show you that in a second. But if we want this to change colors, we need to fiddle with it a little bit more. And we'll probably talk about that in a different video. That's a different sort of thing. But you can see we've got our rounded buttons and notice the roundness of this. This is a 58 radius. If We come back here, let's just play around with this real quick. We give this a radius of like 18, right? Instead of 58 quite a bit less, you'll notice it's not as rounded, it's more square and boxy, right? So you could probably go crazy with this. Um, let's go 158, I don't know, we can even go that high. Yeah, but it looks really kind of goofy. So play around with it and uh, you know get it to look the way you like it to look. Uh, 58 looks good for me, so I'll keep it at that now. So to see if this actually did anything, we can come back here to the rounded button and let's give this an on press of, and let's just print to the screen, goodbye, right? So we could create a whole function on our Pi file like we've done in other videos, but we just need to make sure this button works. So we'll just print to the terminal, goodbye. So let's save this and run it. And here we have our button. When we click it, it doesn't look like anything has happened, but now if I close this, boom, it says goodbye in the terminal, so we know that it works. Like I said, you can mess around with this to where when you're pressing on the button, it changes colors. And maybe we'll talk about that in other videos if people are interested, let me know in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Again, just you know, sort of define your button, give it a background color of nothing and normal. And then this is just a canvas, canvas dot before, and we set the color that whatever color we want, and we just create a rounded rectangle, which is a you know canvas thing that you can create, give it a size of self.size, position of self.position, and set your radius, and then just use that, reference that button. And I called this rounded button. You could call this anything you want. If we called it elder button, that would work too, right? It doesn't matter at all. We can save this and run it. But you know, it's a round button, so I'm gonna call it round button or rounded button or whatever. That sort of makes sense. So we'll go ahead and change that back. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Conaby.com and I'll see you in the next video.